Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a recent uh, moon and rising, a weekly tarot reading for Jul August, excuse me, August 5th to a uh, August 11th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're going to jump right into it. Let's see what we got now. So the first card which stands for the topic uh, of your week here, we do have the Three of Cups, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you will need to face throughout the week, uh, which is the Four of Pentacles. Furthermore, we do have the third card which represents the positive aspect of your week, Aries, and this is going to be the Page of Cups. And then the last one, which stands for the uh, guidance the tarot is offering to you for throughout the week. We do have the death card. <clears throat> All right. So, um, well, what it looks like here uh, is that you are going to be quite inspired uh, throughout this week from a, uh, from a person that is within your environment. Now, this inspiration could come in many different gazes, all right? According to these cards, uh, it could come through an, an emotional uh, inspiration. It could come through passionate inspiration. It could come through as well a, a material inspiration. The thing is, uh, by looking at these cards, is that, <clears throat> well, I don't know how to really put it into words, but let's say that... Uh, a person wants uh, to, to to accomplish something, all right? And uh, however, uh, they're presuming that this accomplishment is going to be very difficult endeavor, all right? And suddenly in their uh, social circle or into their environment, they're seeing a, a person who is not as good as they are. And yet that person is accomplishing what the first person wants to accomplish and is presuming that it is very difficult. So that in instantly speaks to the first person that it's not as difficult as they thought. As a matter of fact, it's very easy. And it is what happens to you, all right? You may have an extremely difficult time to believe that you can accomplish a particular thing and someone else is gonna prove you that actually it's very easy. Okay, it's just it requires a little bit of a different. How can I place a, a, a different uh, uh, overview of a tendency? Okay, and maybe letting go of some minor positions as well, so you can make a bit of your changes into your environment. But definitely, you know, you can expand in this. Uh, in this direction. And that could also be like a, uh, let's say that you and someone else wants to be together, but you are making it way too difficult this to happen. It is like you are presuming that there are, there are going to be obstacles, right, in between you, uh, which are standing in between you and this person. And that person itself is proving you otherwise, showing you that it just takes a little bit of a different a tendency to the overview, uh, if you know what I say. And uh, that will make you to do some, um, how can I place it, a, a, a quite sort of a critical um, self-analysis throughout this week. Uh, 
most likely realizing that a um, couple of things that you are either holding on to old day, outdated concepts and outdated positions as well, or uh, <clears throat> realizing that no matter what, one needs to make something different or one needs to change something into their lives. So uh, <clears throat> this is just the overview of the reading, guys. And before we scrutinize it, card by card, let's go through the uh, run down the cards. Excuse me one more time. Uh, Three of Cups is the first one, which is the topic, followed by the Four of Pentacles, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Page of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And in the last one, we do have the death card, which represents the uh, the uh, guidance, excuse me. All right, so Tree of Cups. Well, Tree of Cups stands for cooperation. It does stands from sharing similar overview, sharing similar vision, if I may express myself that way. Also stands for a, a making progress, a small progress, but yet progress. And usually it, it relates to a progress in a direction or in an endeavor that we had a very difficult time to believe that we can make a progress. All right. So it's like proving ourselves uh, wrong um, for the reason being, well, it's, it's like a, um, yeah, proving ourselves wrong that we are not good enough. Um, long story short. Uh, and uh, by, that, by that meaning, the Tree of Cups, it's a very positive thing for throughout the week because it speaks that through a, a cooperation, which I already spoke with this person that shows you, Actually, you are making the things way more difficult than things has to be. You know, a progress is going to be made. You know, progress in a direction and endeavor, like I said, that you thought no progress can be done. And on top of that, like I said, you are to share. And it's not like an emotional connection, but let's say, let's say sharing and an emotional vision together. You, you both are gonna have. You both are gonna be on the same page. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Cups. Uh, formation, it is a passive supporters. So uh, Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups, it does speak more like a, um, um, a denial of failure, right? Uh, it, it is likely that it is related to a, a, a poignant or a, a situation of failure back in the days that you have that sport aggression toward it, determined to, to um, do better things for yourself. It's like, you know, I don't know what kind of an example to give you. It's, it's a bit trivial here, but uh, let's say that <clears throat> um, a relationship in your life ended up badly, okay? And it was really hurtful. And so now if you do have the chance to make a new relationship, just like I um, said it as an example in the overview of the reading, you know, then this time around you are to be determined to make this one successful uh, just so you can compensate for the one from the past. Okay, so the Eight of Cups here adds additional rejection of... Um, of making wrong moves and additional rejection into clinging into the past and adopting its 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 poignant standpoints, but rather one is more focused on the future. Like I said, more focused on the overview of the future rather than to the minor and irritating details. So the next card here it's going to be about the future itself, and that is the challenges. Four of Pentacles. So uh, this card speaks that the whole week uh, or the whole progress of the week will involve you doing things which you're not feeling very com comfortable with, all right? That will be the challenge itself. And as you're not feeling comfortable with doing those things or associating yourself with these people or most likely sharing a certain information, you know, divulging, for example, how bad you felt back in the days or divulging how you failed in this exam or, or, or in this project and this kind of stuff. It's uh, like I said, it's not something that you may want to share with people. However, you know, once you do it, this, especially this person that you are to cooperate with throughout the week is going to really feel for you and they will do whatever they can to, uh, change your uh, your attitude into a, a more positive height so you can face the future in a more positive standpoint okay 
Additionally to that, the Four of Pentacles, is kind, it kind of speaks that one may find it difficult to find a way to think of how one can establish a, a secure future for oneself. What I mean here it is that you may have... Um, it's because you may not be able to predict how the, the whole thing is going to turn out. All right, the whole cooperation with this person is going to turn out. So there, are, there is still going to be a chance of a failure here. That may itself put you in a very uncomfortable and reluctant position as well, not to take any action whatsoever, preferring to stay in the same place where you are right now, instead of doing something to improve your circumstances. And that is additional challenge that you have to force yourself, even though, you know, there is a... Uh, a chance of a failure, doing nothing secures your failure rather than doing something, all right, will allow you to at least have a chance to get the upper hand. Uh, then we do have the temperance here to the four of pentacles and with these two cards, the formation, it is a, a passive uh, neutrals, all right. So temperance to the four of pentacles is a neutral, it's, it kind of represents a... Um, a, it's, it's more like a very aggressive approach where one is trying to establish this comfort zone in the future, right? And uh, just on the contrary, you need to kind of find the, 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 middle, the middle way, the golden middle, if I may express myself that way, all right? Without, <clears throat> without taking on a, um, a very extreme positions, without um, uh, bruising and forcing your opinion as well, or forcing your ways as well, because you're yet to find new ways of how to cope with, 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 with your daily routine, with your endeavors and etc etc with the temperance as well it's very important to be uh determined and ready to take on additional chores in your life that would that will also going to be a challenging thing because you may be um you, you may lack the uh how how do i place it you may like not the encouragement but more like uh the drive i will say it, the drive you know to do anything that re that revolves around this this endeavor which is meant to change your life and that leads us to the next card which stands for the um positive aspect and we do have this person page of cups so what the page of cups is well page of cups is a person who is feeling very miserable when they are not emotionally attached to someone or to something and this time around well that person has a positive aspect in your week is either emotionally attached to you or is emotionally attached to your situation in other words they either love you or they feel pity for you, okay? These are the two options how the page could manifest for you. So what the page does? Well, the page encourages you to exactly drop off this outdated standards, these outdated positions, you know, and stop focusing on the minor and inner and irritating details, but rather put your glance to the looming future. Therefore, the, chain, the, the page itself is going to warn you that there is a, a big, change coming. I mean, the page, either a person or not, it is always a sign that a big change is looming on the horizon, but this change, it's not quite here yet. However, <clears throat> as you are going to be forewarned for the change itself, you will have the, ch the, the chance or rather like the time to adopt a, a more beneficial standpoint, a more beneficial position so you can utilize the change as best as you can. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Cups. Uh, the for <clears throat> excuse me, the formation. It is a, a passive supporters that we do have. So as a positive aspect, the Seven of Cups is actually a very good card to the page itself. It does speaks for a, a rational um, overview. So the page is going to completely banish, you know, your fantasies and fallacies of how things can fail, of how things can be brought down and into, uh, into ruin and this kind of stuff. And it's more like it's going to divulge you what is the more safer way, okay, of how you can improve your circumstances without getting ahead of yourself. <clears throat> And it's going to as well reassure you, even if you go ahead of yourself, 
you will only gonna face disappointment and not the ruin, all right? So you will have the time because the page comes prematurely here, you will have the time to fix your wrong steps, okay? So I don't know if you realize how, I would say, fortunate you are, Aries, because you are gonna be forewarned for this big change which is looming on the horizon in two weeks, in month, in an year, it doesn't matter, all right? And you will have the time to uh, prepare for it the way you want to prepare, meaning that you have a, a room for making error and then fixing this error, of course. But with the cooperation of this person page, which could, which should be a, a woman around your age or a little bit younger, it could be as well a male, but if it's a male, it has more feminine um, tendencies. What I mean is that I'm not saying that this person is a gay or anything, but <clears throat> you know, they, for example, like to take care for themselves. They probably make a makeup, not as extreme as, as, as some people, you know, but they have more tendencies to, to approach situation in a more feminine way. And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance itself, and that is the uh, death card. So the death card as a guidance urges you to burn bridges with the past, especially when, it, uh, when these bridges are relating to situations that have no contribution for you whatsoever for the future. For example, you do have, you have been fired from a job. Well, it's time for you to forget about it, all right? It's time for you to move on, it's because the fact that you have been fired is already over, all right? This contributes in no positive way for your future. Instead, you need to just turn your back on it, you know, and move on. Same goes into a failed relationship, into failed endeavors and these kind of stuff as well. And also the death urges you as a guidance here to let go of outdated habits and outdated positions either. <clears throat> And also, it is a sign, excuse me, that whatever you lost, you will have a chance to um, to regain it, but not exactly the way how it sounds, right? Uh, because it's a more grand, uh, grand thing, or rather like a, a grand scheme here. What I mean is that if you have lost a relationship, you get to have a relationship. If you have lost a job, you get to have a job. It's not like if you have lost a relationship with X person, you will have the same relationship with the X person, all right? We're talking about a, a grand, uh, I don't know how to say it, a, a event, okay? It's, we're not talking about the specifics of those events. If you have lost your happiness, you're gonna be happy again, but it's not gonna be with the same conditions as with the past. It's gonna be with a, a different conditions, different people. And uh, the next card here is going to be uh, the King of Wands, <clears throat> which stands for the catalyst and the formation. It is a, a passive, um, enemies that we do have. A very peculiar combination, to be honest. Uh, I need a second here, guys. So the King of Wands is about ambition, and um, it's to me it's another sign that you shouldn't go ahead of yourself. The King of Wands is about transforming ideas into very powerful actions, so do not be premature, all right? Because uh, with these two cards and the Death card is pointing that the change, and as the page pointed, the change is looming on the horizon, you know, but you see the change, but you don't see the every condition in the change, so do not fix your plan yet, okay? Be open for surprises, leave a room for adaptability in this. And uh, the king as well here uh, represents objectiveness uh, to the uh, to the death card, all right? Because the king always uh, aims for the, um, for perfection, this king itself, all right? The, this king always aims for perfection. And for that reason, you need to be more reasonable when it comes to uh, expectancy of of, uh, of the future, you know, you cannot have it as perfect as you want it, but you can definitely have it better than you have anticipated, okay? So uh, that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading August uh, 5th to August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!